exclusively on Bright House Networks. Bright House Networks. Welcome back. A new push tonight to make the new government's health care website even safer for you to use. A Florida congressman wants to be sure you know right away if someone hacks into your information. Bay News 9's Annie Manuel is live at 644 in our web center with more on this. Seems like a positive welcome change, Ann. Well, Veronica, you would think so. Everybody you know who signs up for healthcare through healthcare.gov has to put in a lot of sensitive information into the website, right? Well, the government says that information is safe, but some lawmakers are not convinced, and that includes Congressman Gus Bilirakis from Palm Harbor. He introduced this legislation. Let me go ahead and show you some of the text of it here. It's called the Oh No Act of 2013. What does that stand for? The One Hour Notification Act. Congressman Bill Arrakis tells me the bill requires the government to notify you within one hour if there has been a data breach on healthcare.gov and your personal information is compromised. He spoke with me today from Washington. We've got to make it safer for our constituents. And, uh, you know, I don't have any confidence in healthcare.gov. And I don't, a lot of my constituents don't have confidence. So what's wrong with, uh, you know, some security there, some protection for the American people? Well, another congressman, Republican Joe Pitts from Pennsylvania, I'll pull up his web page for you. He introduced very similar legislation. His bill is set to be taken up on the House floor. This is its copy. This is set to be taken up on the floor on Friday. Now, the major difference with this proposal as compared to Bill Arrakis' proposal, this one would require notification of a data breach to you within two days instead of that one hour. Now, I contacted the agency that runs healthcare.gov today, the uh, Centers for Medicaid. Care and Medicaid services. They reiterated to me that the website is protected by high security standards. Coming up in our next hour, what else the agency says it is doing to ensure that your online health care information is indeed secure? Veronica. All right, Ann, thank you so much. Well, the open enrollment period to sign up for Obamacare ends on March 31st. It is possible the administration could extend that enrollment period, though, if major website problems resurface and interfere with signups.